guys, it's Becca and I am back with, you guessed it, more anatomy. Are you bored of anatomy yet? I seriously hope not because there is so much more to learn. <laughs> Though totally, I understand if you need to take a break from my channel to get a little anatomy break, no hard feelings, come back in six months, maybe I'll be done by then? Hopefully I'll be done by then? <laughs> This week I have been working on the lower back muscles and I actually did see a lot of improvement, which was awesome. Though I will say that might be because my first attempt at uh, a lower back drawing study, I couldn't recognize any of the lower back muscles. So you really, you really can't go down from zero. So it was nice to see some of the, some of the things I started recognizing throughout the drawings. That being said, I still don't have a great grasp on it, but there are some things that I would not have recognized at all before that I'm starting to see a lot better now and um, I'm able to recognize. This kind of leads me to something that I've been thinking about a lot recently, especially since I started these anatomy lessons, and that is when do you know if you're ready to move on to a new topic? And that's something I covered in my Drawbox review. I just love that about Drawbox. You don't have to make that decision. Someone who is very experienced in the topic tells you exactly when you're ready to move on. But that is not gonna be the case, even if you're in a regular school setting. You know, you're not gonna have access to your teachers 24 seven. You are gonna have to do some work on your own and you're gonna have to be able to self-assess whether or not you are ready to move on. Obviously, you could study the lower back muscles for a year, for a decade, for your lifetime. You could be on your deathbed studying the lower back muscles, but I don't think that's actually a really effective approach to learning. And I think a lot of times the messaging that you get as artists is like, draw the lower back muscles till your arm falls off. And I just think that is kind of ridiculous, honestly. I think that's, that's just not effective. It doesn't work. Um, that being said, my technique has been like, move on when you feel like it, or move on when you're bored, or move on when you're done with the exercises, which is kind of like equally uh, not thoughtful, I guess. So um, my goal is to come up with a way to sort of assess whether or not I'm ready in a thoughtful way. And one thing I do know is that you don't have to have 100% understanding, right? That would never happen. You would draw till you were dead and still probably never have 100% comprehension. But I don't know if it's like 50% or 75% or if there's like a question you could ask yourself that would give you the answer as to whether or not you understood it well enough, whether or not your understanding was good enough to move on because obviously studying the same thing over and over again leads to diminishing returns, you know? At some point you are wasting your time and I have personally done this myself so I can tell you for sure you need um, more information to learn. You can't learn infinitely with the same amount of information. So help me out in the comments, you guys. What do you think? How do you know when you're ready to move on? How do you know when you know enough? All right, thanks for watching. On to the drawings. See you guys next time.